We've already made Spooky the Pumpkin Man, and today we're making his puppy cauldron bubbles. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you watched last week's video, you know that I made my own collectible Halloween doll set. And this week, we're going to make another playset. But this time, we're going to make Spooky's puppy-like cauldron bubbles. We'll start by needle felting some black wool into Bubbles' basic shape, which happens to be a cauldron. Next, I position the whites of his eyes so that I knew where to put the black glass eyes. I want Bubbles to be looking up kind of like a puppy, so I made sure to position the eyes at the top. I added shades of green wool for the potion inside. Originally, I thought that this darker green would show through the bubbles I was going to put on top, but it didn't end up working out that way. Next, I made lots and lots and lots of little bubbles. I added the puppy ear slash cauldron handles, and I added more bubbles. I made a base and feet out of wire and I needle felted it to the bottom of the cauldron body. I wrapped it in black wool and added green stripes to Bubbles' legs. I felt like Bubbles' legs were looking a little too long so I ended up having to take off the wool and resize the legs. I rewrapped them and then I added the green stripes. Then it was just a matter of adding wool and sculpting until I felt like Bubbles the Cauldron was complete. I don't know if you noticed, but Bubbles has three little flame friends. They're called Sparkies. So of course I couldn't make Bubbles without making the Sparkies too. Which meant I went to work on those. I even added tiny black glass eyes to each little sparky. Now on to the box. Again, we're using a bakery box like last time, but this time I'm using a square white one, not black, that was hard. I drew my designs on the box and I'm still going for that vintage Halloween costume box look. I really wanted Bubbles box to somewhat match Spookies because they kind of go together. They're kind of like a collectible set now, if you will. But instead of using acrylic, this time I decided to use gouache. The drying time for the acrylic paint was just awful and gouache dries very fast.
sometimes when I use gouache, I use it very loosely. And it starts to look very rough and I don't know how to say it, but gouache-like, you know, loose strokes and rough edges. And I really love that style, but it wasn't what I was going for. That is until I decided to paint the background of the bats and trees black. I used a rough white outline around the bats that I was going to clean up, but I really liked it looking rough like that, so I decided to keep it. Then it occurred to me that a lot of the vintage Halloween boxes had a rough gouache-like art style, and that maybe I should go with it. So I did. I added scrapbook paper to the inside, and that was it. Now I have an adorable little Halloween art doll set of Bubbles the Cauldron Puppy and his little flame friends, the Sparkies. I really had so much fun making this. I love making my own custom art doll sets. I think it's, I think it's just a blast. It's just really kind of fun. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.